Hey everyone, um, today I'm doing something a little different, like I said I was going to in the past videos. Anyways, here is my iMac G4, and today we are going to put MacOS Puma onto it. Now, the way I got this disc actually was, if you saw my first video on this, um, I plugged it in and um, this it spat the CD out of the um, DVD drive. So now I have a 10.1 Mac OS disk. Now in the background you hear my um, PoE switch, just ignore that. That is going to be for Ethernet for this boy when we put it on um, the operating system on and, you know, mess around with it. So let's get right into it. Now before I start, I just want to point out that since the last video I have made some updates to this computer. Um, for one thing, I switched out the case, if you can see. The door is still dirty. But I've switched the case with the um, other broken case that I have, or a broken Mac case, which was in way better shape. It's much more white. Um, I was going to switch the screen too. You see, I've got the scratch and stuff. But the old broken one has a dead pixel, so I just left this one because the screen's fine. I just got to get the right um, hex to, you know, take the um, screen casing apart. Um, and also, I swapped the hard drive and DVD drive. So everything should be working. So enough of me rambling, and let's turn on the machine. Let's just move this down here. And I also have installed Leopard on this system, which you'll see it boot into real fast. But instead, we are going to restart it Press alt, the Alt key and the mouse button to open the CD tray and get into the boot picker. So just so you see that I have installed Leopard, you'll see it pop up in a few seconds. So here you see the Leopard login screen. So if you would like to see me um, reinstall Leopard and explore that operating system, um, just let me know and I might do it next month, um, just for fun. So I'm going to click the back arrow, click restart, see to the side, and you will see down there I have the keyboard. I'm going to click restart, and once I hear the boot chime, I'm going to do both hit the alt key and click the uh, mouse button, which I just did, <laughs> which should eventually open the CD drive and there we see in it open the CD drive and we're in the boot picker so in goes the CD push it in and you should see it pop up and today we're going to be erasing the tiger drive and putting Puma on there so there the CD just popped up so we're gonna go over there Click it. Okay, we have that selected. Let's click the arrow. I would have done verbose mode, but that's okay. Here we can see we have the good old fashioned iMac classic and the old pinwheel up there. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've never really experienced the older operating systems of Mac OS. When I was introduced to Mac OS, I started with El Capitan and everything going forward. So I wanted to explore some more stuff, so that's basically why I got this Mac. No wonder. So we'll wait for the setup screen to come up and we will get right into disk utility. So here we are installing the media. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So it is preparing it and here we are into the installer. So I'm gonna wait for it to load because since it's on um, CD it's gonna be a little bit slow. So. Okay, we're going to use English for our main language. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot. This, this utility was not really introduced until later. So instead, I'm just going to completely overwrite Tiger. So here we are. We got it through the steps. I have the Power Mac G4 right here. And I have one gig of RAM this computer well here's all the specs on the screen yeah so uh, if you're really interested 
uh, agree to the terms and services because no one really reads those anyways. Um, and here we are checking discs. So here we are, I'm going to choose the Tiger. I'm going to erase and format as Mac OS Extended. And we shall continue. Continue with the installation. Uh, we shall customize this actually because we don't need all of these languages. So I don't know if there's going to be like any extras or anything, but we'll find out in a little while. So this is going to start installing and I will see you in a few seconds when this decides to not freak out. All right, we've just about wrapped up the um, installation. We're going to click restart and we should head right into the setup of Puma. We have the little Mac icon. You can see right there. So yeah, we're gonna get to see the intro video and uh, I'm probably gonna find out if it's copyright. <laughs> Here we are initializing network since I have the um, ethernet plugged in. Here's the video. So they used to play, I think this um, video was used for like, you know, one, two, or three um, different softwares. Then by Tiger, they updated it and then Leopard and Snow Leopard was the best in my opinion, and they were the same. So here's the beginning of the install. I am in the United States. I forgot the music always plays through this part. I'm still in the US. Um, I have to put in stuff, so I'm just gonna put Nick Creeks. Oh, okay, never mind the music stuff. Anyways. Okay, so this is gonna be a home computer. Um, when do I wanna be? When I grow up, <laughs> I will be retired. I would not like the news. And we, oh my God, it's not done yet. Uh, I'm not going to do a password. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Creating an account. Um, I doubt this even operates anymore. I'm just going to do that. I am using net local area network. Yes, you can do that. I'll set, up at least. I'll set it up later. Alright, let's continue <laughs> talking with Apple. Registration cannot be sent. Yeah, it's fine. Um, this um, operating system might have been what debuted with... I did not click that. Debuted with this computer, as I was trying to say. And... Yeah, and then like the later ones probably debuted with... I don't know, something like that. I'm probably wrong. Someone correct me in the comments, thanks. Um, today is... Um, and it is currently September... 30th um, and it is currently 9:30. I'm gonna save that continue click done and we should be going to the desktop now all right here we are at the desktop um, oh this is actually interesting I like the old computer logo up here so yeah um, I don't know what this disk is still named Ty so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the eject. That actually hit this keyboard. Anyways, here's our disk, nice and toasty. To sign. Yeah, so here we are on the main desktop. Um, what is this? Desktop Mac, okay. That does not exist. All right, so I'm just going to clean up my dock a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. All right, so what, actually, not gonna be helpful. All right, so here's our finder. You know, it's your file manager, which is kind of different nowadays. So you got the computer, which seems to be everything here. Home, which is your files, favorites, and applications. All right, oh, this is interesting. All right, so let's go through the applications first, since I'm interested. So up here, I have um, Acrobat Reader, Address Book, Apple Script. Uh, I guess skip stuff. The scripting stuff. Calculator chess. They still have the same logo for chess nearly what 
14 versions of Mac West later. Clock, what's clock? Um, okay. DVD player image capture, same image or icon until uh, Big Sur. iMovie, oh, that would be interesting. Internet Connect, which is something. Internet Explorer, God rest its soul. <laughs> iTunes Mail Preview, QuickTime Player, Sherlock, well, that's been gone. Sticky System Preferences, Text Edit, and Utilities. What's in Utilities? Airport stuff. If you want to read this, you can. Disk Utility does exist on this, but not in the installers. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So yeah, a lot of the icons are still the same if you look in Mac OS Catalina today. Big, after, uh, once Big Sur comes out, either October, sometime in October, all the icons and sounds and stuff are going to change. Just kind of sad because it's been the same for so long. But, uh, what should we open first? Alright, I'm going to try Internet Explorer first. I don't know if we're going to get far. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll use it as a default browser. This. <laughs> um, can I make it to Google? Yes, we can. So here we are browsing the web. We're on Google. Oh, that's weird. Um, yeah, so it's today. So yeah, it still works. If I type in YouTube, I cannot spell. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so here we are, YouTube.com. So yeah, Internet Explorer. Kind of different back then, to be honest. A lot of different options and stuff. What's under preferences? Interesting. Let's exit out of there. Uh, mail, I'm not going to do. Sherlock. I forgot what Sherlock was. I think this was like your spotlight search of back then. Spotlight search was introduced in Tiger, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. What is this dude? People. Okay, Apple. Shopping. <laughs> eBay. Uh, news, reference, entertainment. Something. Internet. This is actually pretty interesting. This used to be like your back then, like you know, search or spotlight. It's come, it's come a long way. Um, what is this? Is this QuickTime? Oh, that is QuickTime. Yeah, it has the old, um, what's it called? iMac G3 look. It, this was actually the first iMac to come with an LCD flat panel. The G, iMac G3, which is before this, was actually a CRT, which is really interesting. So if I click later... Um, so yeah, I mean, you can do much but like just view movies and stuff. You know, the screen recording options and all that fun stuff. That came in um, QuickTime 10, or QuickTime Player 10. And this is actually QuickTime Player version 5. Copyright 2001. It's very interesting. Now this is actually iTunes. Um, Apple was actually pushing CD material instead of, you know, floppy disks and stuff. So they had that as their icon. And then soon it just became a music note. And, you know, this was when, like, iPod and stuff was really happening. You know, this is what old it looked like. The brush metal was always cool. I don't need you to index my computer. Um, so, yeah, we had, like, radio and stuff, which is probably not going to work because that server probably does not exist anymore. But I do not have music or sample music to throw on here, so I'm just going to let that be. And this is iTunes 2. And I, I, don't, I don't know what version we're on nowadays. So uh, yeah, that's that. iMovie should be an interesting one. Oh boy, it's come a long way. Oh, that's very interesting. It has like its own little like video on startup. So if I start like a new project, if I wanted to, uh, yeah, sure, we'll make that. So I don't really have um, files to throw on here, but if I wanted to, I can create like a little movie or clip off here transition. 
Wow, they came a long way. There's a lot more transitions and stuff in iMovie nowadays. All the different text effects, black and white, audio. The mic still works fine on this. The mic is actually right there, that little dot. If you look right up there. <laughs> I'm surprised that still functions. There is no webcam on this, however, so yeah. And I'm pretty sure if I click about iMovie, it plays the exact same clip over again and like it shows you the uh, version and credits, iMovie 2. I forgot, oh, this is actually um, Mac OS Puma 10.1.3, so it might be a little bit updated. I don't remember if there's a 10.0, I think there is, and I forgot the name of it. I could be having this name wrong of this operating system Puma entire time. Someone will correct me. I'll correct myself. Um, um, let's pop into system preferences. Let's see some stuff in there. Okay. So up here we have like display. It's like your main options that you always want to be in. You can up the brightness stuff. Color. Change the color profile. All the sounds. The sounds are still the same, so, until Mac OS Big Sur, so, that's another thing that's going. Um, desktop, we have some just colors in the background with a little swoosh or something. What I'm interested in is screensavers, actually. If it was, yeah, it's down here. Screensavers. Oh, uh, it's like all like the fancy text and stuff. This is actually pretty interesting. Aqua icons, what's that? Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. It gives you like just all different icons <laughs> in the um, operating system. You don't see that nowadays. So a lot of things are gone. Abstract, what's that? Okay, that's just pictures. I think beach and cosmos and forest and everything else is just slideshows of images. Hot corners have been around for the longest time. You know, if you just like do this one and you push your mouse to the top corner, it activates the um, screensaver, if you didn't know that. Or do other features in newer Mac OS. So yeah, that's basically everything in settings I want to cover. They did not support the Apple mouse because like you can have settings for like these side buttons and stuff on uh, newer Mac OS versions. This actually has support for Mac OS 9, so like all those games and stuff that were in uh, Mac OS 9, you can like switch between it. That's why it says like classic right here. We're going to check out a few more things and then we're going to end the video because I think we're running pretty long. I think I've covered everything actually that I'd like to. Just like um, a lot of these icons are still the same and nowadays and like, you know. I should have put some more, like, sample stuff on it. I still don't know what clock is. I think it's just, you know, have the clock down here. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, so that's... That's really it, I suppose. If you'd like to see some more old operating systems running and stuff, like, I can reinstall Leopard. That's the highest this um, iMac can take. Or, because, like, even Leopard is pushing it a little bit. You have to make some tweaks to, like, get it working. But it works fine. Um, if you want, I will do a video on that, which I probably will. Um, Tiger I installed in the first video, and I did not test it out that much, but I don't know. I just want to give this CD a shot and uh, try this, you know, version of videoing. So if you like it, just let me know in the comments, and uh, I will see you next time. So until then, I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.